Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So here I have another 10 pens currently inked this week. I think let's go through these one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right, we have a Twisby Vac 700R and this is the Flame Torched Iris Edition. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Dark Age. We have a Visconti, and this is the Ducali Palazzo di Sassuolo. We have a Visconti Medici Il Magnifico in the Lapis Lazuli. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog. We have an Atelier Lusa Carina in the Diamond Nebula. We have a Visconti Chastity Luxuries Southwest. We have a Visconti Divina Metropolitan in the Grey. And we have a Visconti Opera Master, and this is the Golden Dust. So I think let's take a look at these pens in a little bit more detail. So this is the Twisby Vac 700R. You can see that there. Uh, this is the Iris Edition. So if you don't know, if you've been in a bubble for the last uh, year, uh, the Iris is basically a flame torch version. So all of the trim the clip, the trim here around the cap band and also around the top here, finial, and also even the metal ring here are all flame torched. So they, they are flame torched to this rainbow color. So sometimes you'll see this called the Twisby Vac 700R rainbow, but the, the real name for it is Iris. And this was a pen that I wanted a lot of. Uh, I wanted, I like the look of it. I like the VAC 700Rs. And I decided I would buy, when it was announced, that I would buy five, which is insane, I know. So in the end, I only bought, three, I think I bought two, and then I bought another one, and then I bought two more. So in the end, I did actually end up buying five. I bought three in broads and two in mediums. Uh, this comes with a uh, number six size Twisby Vac 700R nib. And again, that nib is torched as well. So you have that rainbow effect going on throughout the pen there. It's a demonstrator. You can post the cap because it posts quite deeply. Uh, I like it. I like that it's a vac filling pen. I like all of my Visconti's are vac filling pens. So uh, I do like the 700R. I always thought initially that this sort of flare out here looked a little bit strange on the, the Twisby Vac 700s, but it's something that I have actually got to like, and it's it's not an issue for me, uh, but it does look a little bit strange. So I have that one inked up with a green ink this week, and as you can probably see, it was getting a bit low. The next pen I have inked up here is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age. And this is a lava pen. And if you don't know what this lava signifies, basically Mount Etna uh, is a, a lovely volcano that spews out molten lava. Uh, and uh, the balsonic lava is actually taken, once it's hardened, and ground down into dust and then merged with resin to create this very hardened material so this is a material that that really is almost i'm not going to say is indestructible but it's almost indestructible so this is a really really good material and this is something that dante del vecchio when he was at visconti actually managed to conjure up and there have been a number of versions since actually quite a lot of versions uh, this comes with a hook safe lock um, bronze Age for Homo Sapiens, it's, it's got a bronze clip which will tarnish, also the trims will tarnish. Uh, this has a number 6 size, it's a uh, Visconti 23 cap Palladium fine nib, but I do like how uh, this nib writes. And I haven't written with this a lot lately and I don't know why. I, Other than that it's a single reservoir, uh, and I prefer writing with a double reservoirs because it holds... A single reservoir will hold one and a half milliliters of ink. A double reservoir will hold around two and a half milliliters of ink. That said, uh, I love writing with this one, and it's a single reservoir. 
So I decided I would ink that one up this week as well. The next one is basically the same. It's a Visconti Homo sapiens, but it's not a Bronze Age. It's a Dark Age. Again, it's made of basaltic lava. So it's that, again, that molten lava that is hardened and ground down into dust, merged with resin, and it creates this almost indestructible uh, sort of look and feel. Uh, it's a really, really nice pen. So this, the Dark Age has dark trims on it. So everything is dark. The clip, the uh, cap finial, the uh, band here. Again, it's got a hook safe lock. Even the nib is darkened. It's a ruthenium uh, plated nib. It's still a 23 cap palladium nib. Uh, and this one is a uh, medium that I got on there. Um, you can post these caps. And whether or not it's a Bronze Age or a Dark Age. And they will post. I do still find, because of the weight of the cap, that it is a little bit back weighted. Uh, I love the hook safe lock mechanisms on these. Again, it's a single reservoir. But obviously... You can't have everything in life. And uh, uh, there are now double reservoir versions of uh, the uh, um, bronze and I want to say dark age. Maybe not with the dark age. I think it's definitely with the bronze age. So you've got the Visconti Homo Sapiens Skylight is one of them. Uh, and then there's another which I can't. Uh, was it the Crystal Dream is the other one. Uh, so if you want the double reservoir, you can go for those versions of pens, uh, but these are the older single reservoirs. Now, they did do a steel age version as well, uh, but the uh, original steel ages were pistons, not power vac fillers. And then on, I think it was the last production one they did, uh, they actually made them into power vacs. Now, I don't actually have a steel age. The next pen here is the Visconti Ducalio Palazio di Sassuolo. Yes, that's quite a, a tongue twister there. But uh, this is a beautiful pen. So this is uh, made out of the Yellow Dawn uh, material uh, that uh, Visconti have used a fair bit. And they then have actually taken a demonstrator and basically inscribed the Palace of di Sassuolo on there. And you can see that's a really beautiful pen. So it's a demonstrator. It's a power vac filler. Um, it, uh, I, is it a double reservoir? I don't think it is. Um, that's a good question. I'm not actually sure. I don't think it's a double reservoir. Um, I think it's a single reservoir. It is a thinner body than I'm normally used to in other pens. Uh, this does have the older 18 cat gold nib on there from Visconti. It's not the new version, it's the old version. But I love that nib and I love how that writes. Uh, that is a medium nib and uh, it writes really well. And then you've got the cap finial there as well. Uh, this is a, a really, really lovely pen. Uh, I love it and I love having it inked up with an orange ink as well. The next pen here is the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico in the Lapis Lazuli. This is made of uh, granite, effectively, a Lapis Lazuli granite or stone. Um, th this comes also with a solid silver cap section and filling knob, uh, which are vermeil. Uh, so uh, it's gold plated. Uh, this comes with the newer 18 karat gold nib from Visconti. That's a medium nib, but these are really nice. Uh, can I post this? I can, but this cap is so heavy. You really do not want to post that cap. Uh, but this it has a really, really cold touch uh, to the pen because your basically your fingers here are on the section are on uh, solid silver, so it's cold, it's metal. And the pen here itself, uh, it's stone. So again, it's cold. Uh, but I love this and I love how it writes. Uh, it's a medium nib, but it writes a little bit more on the broader side for me. The next pen here is the Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog. And this was my very first Visconti that I purchased. And it made way for many, many more. Uh, I love the that it's a demonstrator. I love that this, you have these celluloid swirl patterns inside, which have some luminescence there. So you can see that chatoyance there. 
Uh, it's a power vac filler. It's a double reservoir. It's got a hook safe lock. You've got a 23 cap palladium fine nib there, which is a beautiful fine nib. And it's a nib that I absolutely love writing with. Um, now, I do have a lot of uh, really nice writing nibs in my collection. Uh, can I post that cap? Yes, I can. And it posts very securely. You do have to be careful, though, on these, because if it's got a power vac knob, uh, if you were to do that, you're unscrewing the power vac knob. So if you <laughs> unscrewed it a few turns and then pulled it, you're going to pull that off. Uh, so honestly, I wouldn't normally post uh, the cap on here, uh, but I know a lot of people that might. So uh, it's up to you if you want to do that or not. Personally, if it's a power vac, if it's a piston, then I won't normally post the, the cap on the back of the, or the rear of the pen. The next pen here is an Atelier Lusa Carina, and this is in the Diamond Nebula, and I love this. The pen is made out of a Mackenzie Penworks diamond cast material, and diamond cast signifies that it does have real diamond dust infused into that resin, and I do love it. I, I love that a lot. It, it's got a really really nice sparkle it's got a nice brass clip there which is uh po polished now uh, it will tarnish over time and you will need to polish that but uh, i love this pen a lot from erica atelier Luso in california uh can i post the cap you can but it, it's not really designed to do so it doesn't really deeply post so it only just posts to about here um but you can do it if you want to it's a cartridge converter pen uh, nib wise it's got a broad yovo nib on there that's what i asked for and uh, i love it i i really do like this this pen i love how it writes uh, and i love that material that diamond cast material is really quite stunning so i have that pen inked up with me this week as well the next pen which i have had inked up a lot uh it's the visconti it's a chatterley luxuries exclusive uh, there were only 28 of these pens made, and you had it in the this uh, uh, gold uh, trim, or you had it in a ruthenium trim. And I love this gold trim, honestly. I think it looks better on this pen, uh, but that's just my preference. Um, this is made out of celluloid. It's made out of the same material that's in the Speakeasy, uh, the St. Basil, and also there was a Visconti Opera Master Chatterley Luxuries exclusive that I believe had this material in, which uh, again was a very small one. Uh, I love this pen. It's a power vac. It's a single reservoir, as I uh, have alluded to, but um, I do like it. It's got the hook safe lock mechanism there for a quarter of a turn. It's got the newer 18 carat gold nib. That's a medium nib there from Visconti, and I just love it. Um, can I post the cap? Yeah, I can. Uh, that that cap will post quite quite happily um would i no uh normally as i mentioned with a, a power vac or a, a piston i wouldn't normally do that so i have that pen inked up with me this week as well another pen that i've had up uh, inked up recently is the visconti divina metropolitan and this is in the stack celluloid and this is in the gray or Sometimes it's called the pearl. Uh, this is a beautiful material. Uh, unfortunately, all of the Davina Metropolitans, so any of the Davinas with this stack celluloid, are made in this smaller Metropolitan size, which is a shame. I really would have liked to have seen this in a larger Davina. I don't know why Visconti never did it, or at least I have never seen it. Um, my assumption is uh, not because of the thickness of maybe the material, because they've put this into Homo sapiens. I think it's because the Davinas are a little bit longer, and maybe they couldn't make a Davina out of that material uh, as nicely, because maybe the rods for this stack celluloid isn't quite that long. Um, that's only my assumption. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, otherwise, I have no idea why Visconti wouldn't have made this into a larger model. Um, 
that said, these are really beautiful and I do love these. So this does have the silver rods. It's solid silver here. Uh, so that will tarnish and has tarnished over time. Uh, but you then have this lovely stacked celluloid. And this is a beautiful stacked celluloid. Uh, it is a smaller pen. It is a thinner pen as well. So you have a thinner section here. Uh, I do find this pen really on bordering on what I would think uh, or what I feel is a pen that is almost too short and almost too thin for me. Um, but that's me, not for everyone, because I do obviously like uh, longer pens. So I will post this cap a lot. Uh, it does have a captured converter. It's not a piston. It's not a power vac. Uh, so you do have to pull this out here. If I can pull it out, there you go. Uh, you pull this out and you twist it like you would a normal converter, basically. Uh, and that will then uh, suck up ink or eject ink out of the captured converter that's inside that cannot be removed. Now, in terms of the nib, it's a smaller number five size nib, and this is a broad nib from Visconti. It's a 23 cap palladium nib. Uh, but uh, this is a pen that I do love a lot, and uh, I have that one inked up with me uh, this week as well. And then the last pen, which is a pen that I've had inked up a little bit recently, is this Visconti Opera Master, and this is the Golden Dust. And this was a pen that I managed to pick up on eBay. Uh, so I, I used to, I don't now, or I don't do it much now. I used to troll eBay looking for Viscontis because I do love Viscontis. This is a number three of 60. And there was a, a private seller in the US that was selling this uh, pen. Uh, it did have a cracked uh, um, double reservoir window. Uh, so when I bought it, I sent it off to Visconti and they happily repaired it for me uh, and put in a new window. Um, but this it's an Opera Master, so it's a power vac. Uh, it is a double reservoir here that you can see. Um, and it has a, uh, a 23 cap palladium nib there and that's a fine nib. Uh, can I post the cap on this? Yeah, I can. Uh, it makes it massively long and back weighted. I wouldn't want to do it again. It's a power vac, but uh, I, I I used to, as I started mentioning, I used to troll uh, eBay for Visconti's and, and other pens, but mostly Visconti's. I don't do that much now, uh, but I found this one and I just had to have it. I wanted the tobacco at the time. I couldn't get a tobacco and this was the next best thing. And honestly, I like this more than the tobacco now. So... Uh, for me, this was a good buy, and I'm really glad that I picked that up and added that to my collection, and, and I have that inked up again this week. So I think with that, let's go and do a writing sample. So the first pen is the Twisby Vac 700R Iris. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now... I think I mentioned that I did buy three with broad nibs and uh, two with medium. And actually, just thinking about this, actually, I think I bought, I think I bought a medium, I think I bought two mediums, and then I bought two broads, and then I bought a third broad afterwards. Um, I do actually prefer the broads, to be honest. Uh, but then again, uh, Twisby use uh, Yovo nibs, and they're customized Yovo nibs. And I do, even on the Yovo nibs, prefer the board over the medium. So this is a Twisby Vac 700R in the Iris. What's the difference between the R and the Iris? The Iris just has the flame torching. That's the only difference. Now, this is a board and it's a steel nib. And then the ink in here is uh, diamine. And it's mistletoe. And I do have, uh, I, I think I've inked up three of these Twisby Vac 700R irises. Uh, I've got this one inked up with mistletoe. I've got another one inked up with, I believe, fire embers. The next pen I have inked up is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age. So I think let's do an ink swatch. So we'll do an ink swatch here. 
so this is a fine nib and it's one of these very wet 23 cap palladium nibs and like i said i really need to be writing with this more than i am um so this is the visconti and it's homo sapiens and it is the bronze age and it is a fine and it's a 23 cap palladium nib why am i not writing with it as much i have too many pens and i do need to actually thin down my collection a bit because i am still finding it very hard to be able to uh write with all of the pens uh, the ink in here today is uh diamine and it's ochre which is a lovely brown ink and depending on the pen sometimes it can be very dark brown sometimes it can be a very light brown the next pen is a Visconti Homo Sapiens Dark Age. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now, this is a medium nib. And again, you can see that this is quite wet. But Diamine, so this is an ink that I've got here, uh, which is a Diamine Earl Grey ink. And this can be on the dry side, I find. So this is the Visconti Homo sapiens dark age and it's a medium 23 cat palladium nib and as i mentioned it's diamine and it's earl gray but uh, that is an ink that i like uh, i like a lot and is my favorite gray ink that I have in my collection. So the next pen is the Visconti de Cali Palazzo di Sassuolo. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And I have a beautiful orange ink in here. Beautiful orange ink for a beautiful orange pen. So this is the Visconti and it is the Ducali. Palazzo and it's a D and it's Sassuolo. Uh, it's a medium and just double checking that, I believe. I may have said it was an 18 cat gold nib. It's a uh, 23 cat palladium nib on there. I think I thought it was uh, an original 18 cat, but it's not. Uh, and then the ink in here is uh, Sailor, Gentle, and it's Apricot, which is a beautiful orange ink. The next pen is the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico in the Lapis Lazuli. So we'll do an ink swatch. And I am really loving this color or hue of ink. Um, I used to have this inked up to start with, uh, with, uh, Papia Plume, Forget Me Not Blue. I, I only have, I think, one bottle of that. Maybe, yeah, no, I only have one bottle. But, uh, and when that's gone, it's gone. So, I was looking for a replacement colour and this, uh, hits the spot quite nicely. So, this is a Visconti and it's the Medici. And it's Il Magnifico. And it's the Lapis Lazuli. And it's a, a medium, newer 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is a uh, Pilot Iroshizuku. And it's uh, Aji uh, Sei, which is a beautiful ink. The next pen is a Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And this is a fine nib, so it is a lot finer. You can see there, so it's taken a long time to do this ink swatch, but I love this fine nib. So this is the Visconti. 
Homo sapiens. And it's the London Fog. And it is a uh, fine and it's got a uh, 23 cap palladium nib on there. And then the ink in here is uh, Pilot. Again, another Iroshizuku. And it is uh, Compeki. Which is usually the, the favourite blue ink that I put in there because it's a cerulean blue ink. Uh, the other one is a uh, Waterman Inspired Blue. I thought about maybe putting in War and Klinger um, Blue Mare in there, but I'm not sure if that might stain or not. So uh, I've, I've elected to not put that in there just in case. The next pen I have inked up is the Atelier Luso Carina in the Diamond Nebula. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now this is a broad nib and I do like the ink. Um, I probably wouldn't like it as much, but I like it in this pen. So this is the Atelier Luso Carina, and uh, it's the uh, Diamond Nebula, and it is a broad, and it's a still Yovo nib, and why, why wouldn't I normally like this thing? It's just not a colour that would normally speak to me. Uh, I thought I would like this colour, I thought it would be a blue colour, it wasn't, however I find that even though I put it in this pen, I find that it writes exquisitely well. So that's part of the reason why I'm liking this uh, colour. Uh, so the ink in here is Monteverde. And that is an M. Uh, Monteverde and it is Blueberry Muffin. And uh, I might actually put in Blue Velvet Cake or something else in there eventually, but I'm liking this in there at the moment. The next pen inked up is the Visconti Chatterley Luxury Southwest. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is a very wet nib. And it's got a bit of bounce to it as well, which I like in my nibs. This is that little bit of cushiony bounce. So this is the Visconti. And it's the Chatterley Luxuries. It's an exclusive. And it's called the Southwest. Uh, it's got a medium. It's got the new style 18 cap gold nib. And then the ink in here is Mont Blanc. And it's Corn Poppy Red, which is a beautiful red ink. And I still have, oh, what, five bottles of it. Uh, well, technically, it's not five full bottles. It's, it's probably four and a half bottles, but still, it's still a lot of ink that I do have there that I'm hoarding because unfortunately that ink is no longer made anymore. So uh, unless they maybe bring it back at a later stage, uh, at least I've got enough ink to last me a lifetime for that, that uh, color. The next pen is inked up is the Visconti Divina Metropolitan. So we'll do an ink swatch. And Again, you'll see that this is a broad nib. Uh, it's not as wet, um, but it will put down a nice uh, line. So this is the Visconti Divina Metropolitan. And uh, it is a uh, broad and it's a 23 cap palladium nib. And then the ink in here is... Uh, diamine. Actually, no, it's not. I'm just thinking about this one. Uh, this is actually no, it is. Yeah, it's a uh, diamine. I should have seen this actually from the the, the swatch color. Diamine amaranth. Uh, 
the reason being is that sometimes I do put Pilot of Oshizuku Suji in there. But that definitely is Amaranth, looking at that colour. And then the last pen inked up this week is the Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust. So it will do an ink swatch here. And this is a fine nib. So you can see that there. So it's not a medium or a broad. So this is the Visconti Opera Master. And it's the Golden Dust. And it's got a fine, and it's a 23 cap palladium nib. And the ink in here is uh, diamine ochre, which is actually very, is the same ink that I've got in the uh, Visconti Homo sapiens Bronze Age, the second pen that we looked at. So I think let's take a look at these pens inked up one more time. So we have a Twisby Vac 700R Iris in a broad steel nib inked up with Diamine Mistletoe. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age in a fine 23 cap Palladium nib inked up with Diamine Ochre. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Dark Age in a medium 23 cap Palladium nib inked up with Diamine Earl Grey. We have a Visconti Di Carli Palazzo di Sassuolo in a medium 23 cap Palladium nib inked up with Sailor Gentle Apricot. We have a Visconti Medici Il Magnifico in the Lapis Lazuli in a medium 18 cat gold nib inked up with Pilot Wash Suzuku Aji We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog in a 23 cat Palladium nib inked up with Pilot Wash Suzuku Compeki. We have an Atelier Lusso and this is the Carina in the Diamond Nebula in a broad steel nib inked up with Monteverde Blueberry Muffin. We have a Visconti Chatterley Luxury Southwest in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. We have a Visconti Divina Metropolitan in a broad 23 count Palladium nib inked up with Diamine Amaranth. And then last but not least, we have a Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust in a fine 23 cap palladium nib inked up with diamine ochre. So there you have it, that's my currently inked pens for this week. Thanks for watching, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.